Hello and what's up YouTube? In this video, I will show you how I made an adjustable voltage DC power supply. I made it out of an old UPS. This particular UPS that I will repurpose have a bad battery and will not turn on. So nobody wants it anymore. The first thing we need to do is to remove the transformer and rewire it. These are the primary windings and you can see there are two magnet wires just beside the blue wire. I'm pretty sure that is the center tap in the primary winding. We have 220 volts AC in the wall outlet where I live in and I need to figure out which of these wires should be connected to the wall outlet. I took some resistance measurements among the three wires of the primary to find out which one has the greatest resistance just to be sure. As I expected, the resistance between the black and yellow wires have the highest resistance, so that is what I will use to connect to the 220 volt wall outlet. Now let's try to connect the UPS transformer to the 220 volt AC wall outlet. I just connected the black and yellow wire to the original power plug of the UPS and also included the original circuit breaker in series. So turn the multimeter to AC voltage and measure the secondary voltage of the transformer. Now when I plug it in, you can see that the secondary voltage is just over 6 volts. It will not work with my intended application because I will feed the secondary voltage to a DC to DC back converter module down the line. And that module needs at least 7 volts input. There is a neat trick we can do to the UPS transformer. We can rewire the secondary windings to give us more than 12 volts output. And that is what I'm about to show you. So first, cut the insulation to reveal the ends of the secondary windings. There you go, and you will notice that the there are actually two magnet wires in each of the terminals. So the way these transformers are made is that there are two secondary windings connected in parallel to increase the current capacity of the output. What we need to do is to separate those two sets of windings and reconnect them in series. As you can see, I desolder these ends to separate those wires. I made temporary connections using alligator clips to test it first before making the permanent connections. Because if you somehow connect it backwards, the two secondary windings will cancel the voltages and it will actually give you zero volts output. If that happens, just try to switch the wires until you get 12 volts output. Since this will be a variable voltage output DC power supply, I bought this cheap voltmeter to tell me the output voltage. I got the model with three wires because some comes with only two wires. This voltmeter with three wires have black wire as the common ground, red wire for the supply to the voltmeter, and white wire to the input voltage we want to measure. I rig up a simple test to see how well it works. Comparing the readout to my multimeter, it is off by about 90 millivolt, but that is good enough for me. So 
So these are the modifications I made to the UPS. Looking at the back panel, I made use of the original power plug cable and the existing circuit breaker. I installed this CISO switch in series to the 220 volt AC input to turn the power supply on and off. I retained these power plug outlets which are simply connected in parallel to the power cable. I covered the other holes I'm not using with some tape. And down here, I, I made a dedicated earth ground connection. As I will be using this as a power source to my homemade powder coating gun. It is important to have these grounding terminals made into the power supply. That bolt is simply connected to the earth ground wire of the three prong power plug. Moving on inside the UPS enclosure, I made this full way rectifier circuit on this universal perforated board. You see more diodes than you would expect for a full way rectifier circuit because I connected two diodes in parallel instead of one. That is so that it can handle more than one amp, which is the current rating of each individual diodes. I also put a LED just because I have it. I did not buy any of these components, including the, these connectors. I just salvaged them from the original UPS circuit board and some other scrap electronics I already have. Now this is the DC to DC converter that I use to regulate the final out output voltage. It is very cheap, just cost as much as my lunch. And here you have that DC to DC back converter module all wired up. It just snugly fit on that corner and did not have to hold it in place with screws. The input voltage to this module of course came from the 12 volt output of the rectifier circuit which is this ribbon cable. And the output of the module these black and red wires goes to the back panel to this USB connector. And that is how I want it for my particular application. You can also use banana plugs in the front panel like any other bench power supplies. The other wires coming out of the module are these that goes to our small voltmeter. Now the DC to DC module output voltage is adjusted by, by a trimmer resistor in the PCB board. What I did is simply connect the potentiometer in parallel to the trimmer resistor so that I can adjust the voltage through the front panel. This is the original LCD circuit port of the UPS and it has no other purpose than to hold my voltmeter steady in place as you can see right there. I reused this original connector on that PCB board and that is where I connected the voltmeter wires. The potentiometer is wired to this connector. All of the connectors are salvaged from the original UPS circuit board. Now let's turn on this bad boy. The LED on the rectifier circuit showing us there is 12 volts output from the rectifier. And on the DC to DC back converter module, there is also a LED. It lights up blue during constant voltage mode and red during current limiting mode. The potentiometer in the front panel enables us to adjust the output voltage from about 1.2 volts up to the maximum voltage. The maximum output voltage of this power supply 
can be adjusted through the trimmer resistor in the DC to DC module inside. That hole in the front panel where I put the potentiometer is where the original push button switch of the UPS is located. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, a very simple project to make use of an old UPS instead of it just going to the trash. I will use this power supply for my homemade powder coating gun, so make sure you look into that as well. Thank you very much for watching.